everyone, welcome back. This is my day 20 of my quarantine distraction videos that I've been doing. And this one is a follow-up to the last couple of videos that I've done where I threw um, wheel thrown eggs. I trimmed wheel thrown eggs. Yesterday I did one method of carving and today is another. So this is scrofito carving that I've done with black underglaze. And I'm just gonna show how I did this. Um, I have some other videos on scrofito carving, but hopefully you'll find this interesting. So um, leave me any comments below if you have any uh, questions or, or comments to add. And um, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep potting. So I started carving, forgetting to turn the video on. What I did first was I took my needle tool and I just uh, made um, like a, a division of six here on the bottom. And then I'm using the, I don't know if, if I can get this to focus. This is one of the um, mini ribbon tools from uh, Kemper. I use uh, this a lot for some detail carving. I'm going to use this and then carve over those lines so they're a little bit more pronounced. Now I'm going to do some marks trying to center okay in between those lines trying to center up and I'm going to first of all give myself like some guide points here so as I do this, I'm, I know I'm going to try to make them all about the same length or depth. Okay, so my reference dots are on there. Okay, now I'm going to finish that line out to the point. I should say, even though the underglaze coats are completely dry, the egg itself is still on the, um, the leather hard side, maybe on the dry side of leather hard, but I like to, I prefer to do my scrofito carving when it's um, not bone dry because I have trouble with the underglaze chipping. Um, I'm, again, I'm using B-Mix. This is Laguna B mix, and uh, I wanna try to keep it as clean as possible. Now I'm just gonna come in here and freehand my design with my six segmented pattern. So I'll do this and I'll fast forward so you all can see. And I might use a variety of tools. When I switch, I'll show you. switch to a needle tool. One of the results of using a needle tool is it pushes away the clay instead of cutting it away. So as you might be able to see here, I have little burr edges. So I'm going to gently try to take off the little burrs that are sticking off sticking up with a dry brush I will also check it again later before I actually fire I don't want to uh, fire anything with it with it with a, a sharp burr like that I'm gonna remove some of my debris here so I'm not sitting it in it Um, 
um, this tool that I'm using. This is a, a Zyam tool, and it's very much like the, the Kemper tools. It's a mini ribbon tool. They have some slightly different shapes. I'm just going to remove a larger area here since this has a flatter edge. Okay, now I'm going to start to think about the opposite side and having the design come down so they'll eventually meet in the middle. Um, so I'm going to start off lining up with what I have going on on the bottom down there. All right, so I've lined up those lines with the initial lines down there. And I'll go ahead and do this. And I'm not trying to make the patterns match at all. Okay, I think I'm done carving. Um, now at this point, I would want to allow it to dry super slowly. Um, I could do one thing that it's not absolutely necessary, but I'm going to do it um, just to make the drying a little bit uh, easier. You know that this is a completely hollow form right now. It has uh, air in it. Um, it is possible to fire a completely hollow form as long as it's thoroughly dry. Uh, but in the case of this, I am going to stick a needle tool in there. I offered just a tiny little vent hole. That's enough so when it is uh, drying, the water vapor can escape through that hole so it won't blow up. Um, again, if I wanted to dry it extra, extra thoroughly, I wouldn't necessarily have to have the vent hole because the clay is porous enough it could go through the, the clay wall, um, but I think it's, it, it'll be good to have that there, okay? So. I decided to go ahead and date this, that it will always be a reminder to me of uh, when I did it with the, with the quarantine here. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing how I did this. Um, I used a variety of small tools to do this. I really used a needle tool. I used a, a Kemper mini ribbon tool, if you can see that. Okay, and I used the Azium tool that has the flat. Both of these are ribbon tools. This one was more of a flat end and this Kemper one was a pointy end. Just wanted to uh, show you that. Hopefully you learned something new and stay safe, stay healthy, and keep potting if you can.